When you think of Penticton, you probably reminisce about a city between two lakes, in the middle of wine country, beautiful beaches, water sports, outdoor adventure, with world-class rock climbing and cycling. A true Four Seasons Paradise. Plus renowned for being the host community for so many festivals and events. Yet you undoubtedly will also reminisce about its rich hockey history. From the 1955 World Champion V's. Hey, look at those boys, Bob, Ivan McCullough. The Okanagan Hockey School being the longest continuously running hockey school in the world. The BC Hockey Hall of Fame. And having one of this country's most storied junior hockey franchises. In this series, we will look at Penticton V's past, present, and into the future. And go behind the scenes as the current BCHL champions fight to defend their title. This one's for you, Penticton. The V's are 2022 Fred Page Cup champions. On the road. And in the locker room. What billet life is like. Game day production and broadcast. The BCHL All-Star Game festivities. And of course, the playoffs. This and much, much more. These Nation, making hockey history. Today, we will delve into what is so special about Penticton. 16 years ago now, um when I was first approached uh, to come to Penticton and be the, you know, the head coach here. And for me, I've said it, uh, you know, hundreds, hundreds of times that um, honestly, you know, the biggest thing that brought, drew me to, to, to come coach here and, and, and work in Penticton was the, the uniqueness of the, the history and tradition that this program has had that, you know, going back as a senior team in the 50s and a junior team starting in 61 and just all the the great names and and championship teams that that came before us so it uh it made it, made it for an easy decision and an, obviously an exciting you know times that we've seen kind of grow over the time i've been here as well um you know what it, you know i guess when you when you look at for a junior team it you know, I think one of the things that we're proud of, of you know, what comes to mind to, for most people is just sort of like almost like an original six kind of team in the NHL or, you know, that where you have, you know, you know, we, we have a, you know, the 91 year old goaltender coming from, you know, coming to our games from, from the fifties. And whenever, you know, you see a lot of different alumni coming through all the time. And so it's, uh, you know, I think when you look at Penticton, you just, you know the the V's now and the different names that you know of the of the franchise over the years. It's I think the one thing that's always stayed constant is the is sort of the you know how people perceive our team in the community, how it's part of the community on a day to day basis. Well, you know what it's it means a lot to me to be a V. Um, you know, like I said, like when I first came here, I thought maybe it was going to be a one or two year type thing and then off to something else at that point of my career i was moving every couple of years and um 
Now it's more, for me, it's more kind of a, a legacy piece now where I want to keep building on on, on the, the history and tradition that we've talked about. And, and um, you know, I think it's special. I think our, our junior team is, like I said, it's a very unique situation where you have a beautiful setting here, you know, a beautiful city to live in. Uh, you got a, a facility that's second to none for, it's almost like a mini, you know, a National Hockey League rink. You've got the, the alumni that goes way back, you know, you know, how many junior teams can say they have, you know, a multitude of, you know, National Hockey League uh, Hall of Famers. Um, and just to be part of that and be in charge of, you know, kind of the, the new era of our organization is something that I don't take for granted. Well, I'll start. I, I think, um, in a word, excellence. The V's have a reputation for pushing the players on the ice, having a program with a ton of structure, uh, but on and off the ice, they seem to hold these guys to a high level of accountability. Um, uh, the track record shows that they know how to perform on the ice, but we were hoping for our boys to have an experience that um, is both enjoyable and, and a huge learning experience on and off the ice and that's exactly what um, we've been lucky enough to have really here and they have been too so um, I, I just think it's it's a lot of the intangibles um, this is a fantastic league but the V's run this organization from the owner down to the last person um, better than anybody my name is Luca DePasquo I'm from Livonia Michigan and this is my first year with the V's. Uh, for me personally, you know, I, I had a couple options this year and different teams and different leagues to play in. Um, and I think it just goes back to not only the history, but you know, the, the track record for me, the goaltenders, right? Um, you know, the history and the, the development and guys moving on to the next level. That was a big, that was a big factor in my decision to play here. You know, being from Detroit, you know, you don't know too much about Penticton or even British Columbia for that matter. So, you know, once I got here and, and really learned and understood the history, you know, the 55 V's winning the national championship, you know, all the all the BCHL championships this this organization has won, it it really means something special to be a part of it and try to continue that legacy. Well, Luca played for he played in the Null for the last two years. So this is actually his third year playing junior hockey away from home. Um, we decided, he decided actually, it was his decision um, to come to Penticton, to the V's organization. The main reason I think was the way the coaching staff reached out to him, to his family, to us. They, it was professional from the start to the end. They had other goalies actually that used to play here actually reach out to him. And basically they, they even said, don't even think about it, just go. This is a fantastic program. Everything we've heard about it, read about it, um, was nothing but stellar. And it was kind of a nice change for him. He grew up in the States, although he has dual citizenship. Um, this is the first time he's ever lived in Canada. And I think that was a big, that was a big draw too. It was just a different culture. The culture of hockey and the culture of the country was just something new for him. And it was, it was a good opportunity. Uh, my name is Joe Neuendijk and uh, my son is Jackson. Uh, this is his second year uh, with the V's, uh, his last year of junior hockey this season. And um, uh, we've, we've had a great experience. He came here last year with the opportunity to come to Penticton. Uh, we didn't know much about the BCHL, but uh, uh, through the process of speaking with Fred and learning about uh, what this program was all about. Um, it's just been a fabulous experience for my son Jack. But a lot of people in my hockey world reach out to me and, and, and vouched for the uh, Penticton program. Uh, we, we had some friends that had kids that played here and everything was uh, positive and, and ultimately my son Jack made the decision to want to come here. They did a, a, a great job in um, you know, explaining the program to him and this is what he wanted to do. And uh, since day one, um, it, it, it couldn't have been a better experience for him. It really worked out well. Like I said, he was ready for a change. It just felt comfortable right from day one. You know, and, and, and a lot of times uh, 
hockey people or programs will tell you one thing and then it doesn't necessarily match up. Everything that Penticton, the program, talked about has come true and has, so they've stood behind their word. They've treated my son amazingly. He's really developed and, and grown as a person here and uh, so I think the experience has been great for him. You know, my son was ready for a change and uh, and this, this, this program here in Penticton has provided the most amazing experience for him. Uh, I'll never forget last year when they won in Nanaimo and they went on that incredible run of 16 in a row. And to see uh, the joy in his face after they won, he, he had tears in his eyes and so did his mother and I. Uh, and you know, that, that's coming, that's from my perspective, coming from a lot of, uh, championship type stuff over the years in the NHL, but I got so much more joy out of seeing him have fun and, and relishing in that moment uh, because he had never really experienced that in his young hockey career growing up in Dallas. So that was a beautiful moment. They have another great team again this year as they do every year and uh, I, I can see that, uh, you know, that experience is helping him be more confident this year. Um, it's just been a wonderful thing to be a part of the, the V's program. I'm Jackson Neuendijk. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and this is my second year with the V's. Why did I choose to come to Penticton? Because it's a really good organization in the hockey world. Uh, it's very well known. I've only heard good things about it, and um, they move a lot of players on to the next level. To be a Penticton V, it's very special to be a part of uh, their heritage and winning a championship last year, it's been some of the best years of my life. Uh, so my name is Beanie Richter. I'm from Greenwich, Connecticut, and this is going to be my third year playing with the V's. Uh, I chose Penticton because it's one of the best junior organizations in Canada, and they have such a long, like, robust history of winning, and uh, just great staff, great all-around organization, and um, coming here was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Um, it's my third year here. I have a very deep connection with this team in this town. And uh, I love all the guys on the team. We're super close and, and become part of my family, honestly. And um, we're not just coming here to play games. We're, we're here together and we're here to do something special. So it's great to be a part of. Uh, my name is Bradley Nado. I'm from uh, New Brunswick and uh, it's my second year with the Bees. Well, I chose Pink Tick Pink because I, I heard so many great things about the organization and like the town as well. It's like a, it's an unbelievable spot. So I just wanted to come here and play here because it's one of the best junior spots to play. Hi, I'm Josh Nadeau. I chose Pink Tick Pink because I wanted to be more viewed by the scouts. And I think BCHL is a great league for that. And I want to be part of a team with my brother on it. And uh, Pink Tick was a great option for me. And I, that's what I decided to do. My name's Frank Jurasevich. I'm from New Rochelle, New York, and this is my third year with the Bees. I chose Penticton because of the winning culture here. Uh, when I was coming into junior hockey, uh, I saw, I, I read about Penticton, I learned about Penticton pretty quickly from players from my area that came here and were really successful. And all the, all the winning here was something that really uh, turned my eye on Penticton and really made me want to come here. The, the biggest thing when we talk about our culture, you know, culture's maybe at times overused, but. When I talk to families, when I talk to you know potential recruits, and you know when they're, when they're coming here, it's all based on two two words: professionalism and accountability. And so you know we right from our uh, coaching staff throughout, uh, right down through all our players, we all make each other accountable um, in the right way. And and then the professionalism, you know, really understanding what it means to to have structure in your life and and when and that goes without you know I don't want people to think that we don't have fun here we have tons of fun um, but there is structure to what we do and and um, and I think our being organized in that kind of fashion leads uh, to, to so many great things for our players individually and obviously as a team as well probably my overall takeaway from having my, my children play in, in the BC is is the positive experience that they've both had um, is a really important life experience and Fred speaks about this all the time. They came here to learn the game of hockey but they are, it's demanded of them to apply these 
really important principles of selflessness, responsibility, um, you know, pushing yourself to be your best every day. And I, it sounds dramatic, but this is what's asked of them all the time, and it's not normal. Um, and I think it's very, very valuable for them to understand how to apply themselves and figure out who they are and how good they can be. And you only do that by pushing yourself. And this program in particular, and I think this league in general, is supreme about development. We all want to get to the next level, but you have to learn and you have to apprentice yourself to it if you're ever going to be that good. And I really believe that this league is, is perhaps the best one that I've seen in doing exactly that development. And this organization in particular, the V's, have been just supreme about demanding this of the players. And you have this peer, real positive peer pressure to do the right thing, to be part of the community. You get support in the community. It's not carte blanche. You have to perform and you have to hold yourself to a high standard. And that will serve them every day of their life, in their personal life, in their professional life, and on the hockey rink. And to me, that's, that's what this is all about.